another pretty autumn. What will I do when I get out? I'll turn out the light, the light in the kitchenette. What a title, another pretty autumn. No way to place it, a word in its meanings and all its other things, the cranes, the shut alarab, drained and allowed to again fill with water, flyway, a virus, bonding between birds, culling, spare the hatred, we're too amazed. Coincidence, at least one of us tested positive in this facility, facile, so we're in lockdown, eating separately in our separate rooms, gesture and the sound. You don't need to know the language, the plague, many have died, many. We don't see each other die, we wear masks. I saw the big machine that destroyed itself in the New York Museum of Modern Art, getting ready to do it the next day. I stuck my head in under the canvas, just arrived, canvas, Goya, sick unto death. His doctor holding Goya, holding his cup of water, Goya into space, feeling each other. Later, Goya will paint this. If I knew, if I know what's going to be cut up, it's easier to write it cut up in that way that continuous, that's continuous because space binds. Space binds. Now digital is already cut up. Don't talk so fast. The shot all around, estuary, water. Is a virus now considered alive? Once it was not. Definition live. Sentience, sense. Newspapers to manipulate. Manuscript, reading as manipulating words, half phrases. Some spotters can look up from the floor and see you and run for cover. Grief. In my mind's eye, I see space, large space. In fact, the box, rectangular, the flat earth. There's a die off of cranes in the marshlands of Israel. The biologist says heartbreak. These birds stay in families, migrate with the seasons. They are dying of a virus. He says they lean over the dead one. They grieve. Yes, of course, yes, I know, I know. Reading and manipulating newspapers, balancing them on a seesaw. Some reading cut-ups could happen in a video. Maybe Jason's shooting will be a continuous long shot of cut-up reading, skipping stones from source to source. Could one source be this notebook? Awkward, but maybe good. Get LA Times delivered. Seesaw. Why the seesaw? That's why. Don't use it as a seesaw, but board and sawhorse. Practice the way of cut-ups, improvisation, reading. Start trying. Find the energy of seriousness out of the seriousness of the moment. Like telling a dying loved one. No. Well, yes. Telling them you love them, but not in so many words, in strongly felt nonsense. Or it can be strongly. Very casually. Intensely talking, casual nonsense, from the heart, concrete. Winter solstice, 12, 20, 21. I have a show in April, and yet I feel I have nothing to offer. And this is a time to make something that very honestly comes out of me. It can be small, though it needs to be a show. I've just read Kurt Schwitter's collection of plays, poems, poetic stories. He articulates in various imaginations. One story you are reading, and yet not. Ta-ta, ta-ta. The sounds that surround speech, 
the gestural sounds, so one can understand a lot, even of a foreign language. Repeat. Find the energy of seriousness out of the seriousness of the moment, like telling a dying loved one. No. Well, yes, telling them you love them, but not in so many words, in strongly felt nonsense. It can be strongly, very casually. There's still so much good juice in Dada, so much mysticism. Dozens of books from Salvation Army, with Luke leafing through them, conversing from them, making cut-ups and read, maybe adding skipping stones reading. Prayer, the gesture of sound, always there. Casual, you don't even know it's there. What is it? Could one source be this notebook? Awkward, but maybe good. Why the seesaw? That's why. Skipping stones from source to source, recognizing special moments in casual piling papers on seesaw, weeding footage, green light. There is a die-off of cranes in the marshes of Israel, migrate with seasons. They are dying of a virus. They lean over the dead one. They grieve, reading as manipulating words, phrases, half phrases. Some spiders can look up from the floor and see you and run for cover. If I know it's going to be cut up, it's easier to write it cut up because space binds, space binds. I saw the big machine that destroyed itself in the New York Museum of Modern Art getting ready to do it the next day. I stuck my head in under the canvas, just arrived. At least one of us tested positive in this facility, so we're in lockdown, eating separately in our separate rooms. The plague, many of us have died. We don't see each other die. We wear masks. Sometimes I try to not retrace my thoughts in words, like scratching on a wall. Sometimes the young nurses will congregate in my room. They speak Filipino, a language that pops and clip, clicks because if I don't understand a word, but pick up a lot of the general gesture of the conversation. The male nurse is my night nurse. It's been difficult, but interesting. He wakes me up in the middle of the night to take me to the bathroom. Getting me out of bed takes strength from both of us. I find him attractive. He seems resentful, at times even angry. At first, I wasn't wearing pajama bottoms, just the pull-ups, the kind of bulky diapers. The two seconds of pulling down on pajama bottoms and make the difference of sitting down in time or not. I've been sloppy about my prayer practice, my good night to awakeness, my thanks to my angels, my avoiding my primate language logic. I pray without knowing it at night before going to bed. But I've lost the thread, the rhythm of this notebook, this writing that I intend to use as part of my cut-up writing for Skipping Stone's reading with New York Times. The thread was not made out of subject thread, but out of space. It's time to try some reading. Cut-ups, will there really be consider con will there really be coincidences of pathways, detours of interest? The nurse that gives me a shower might be in her 50s seems disappointed in her life. The process of randomization can bring nonsense. Improvised nonsense is difficult. Surface tension, popping into meaning. With Anna Halpern, we were talking nonsense, but there was the element of movement. Two elements being juxtaposed could start a cascade of nonsense. To not, to, to not know that you're praying sacred nonsense. Humor depends on nonsense. I saw a video online 
of a magician showing a trick to a monkey in a zoo behind the glass partition. The monkey froze for a moment, then curled back its lips, hit itself in the forehead, and fell over backwards. <laughs> Vasquez rocks, Velasquez. If that Spaniard is who I think he is, he's very like the rocks, elongated. Yesterday I had a hard time writing Los Angeles. I could say Los Angeles, but my hand was writing Los, Los, a series of museum galleries, all Velasquez, ca captured looking up and up to engage in nonsense. You have to engage in something that is reach in, in something that is reaching for some definition, some purchase. I love purchase, aluminum, solid. I like the nurses in lockdown now. If it weren't for them, I'd be very lonely. Sometimes I'm a nice colonial master. I ask, how are you doing? Answer, tired. The nurses give me showers, not the male nurse. The building is asleep. Each day I take a tiny pill to ease depression. It does the trick. Democracy, after each word, a cascade of explanations. The thing that's built out over the water, a wharf under it, where the pilings are spaced apart. The salt rolls in. The packed sand shines wet. The nurse and I sang a bit and agreed that I'm walking well. She will dress me in the morning. Then it's made out of pedestrian movement, out of a hunger, a hunger to be walking. The dance of the men on the island off, the, off of Sicily, is it? Stomping with the big cowbells, all stomping together, and a kind of... Walking in a line, not a word, not a song. Cousin Paul, his honeymoon, the other one is there. The sea squirt on the beach, no words. The grain of affection and virus, packed sand, the shine of wet. The feel of the next line. They stomp the cowbells all together, not a word. They turn the corner. Why not curl down low to turn head to look up from down under a pile of leaves? Cousin Paul says, if Benito had been stopped right then, why not have a young man, an old man, plaster the walls? With admiration, something solid, dependable, I've got your back. Your pack of cards, how to jump expectation without losing the feel. They see everyone who's in the sky, know each other's routines, slap, slap the dust, kick dust into the drummers, let them know. Sometimes I try to not retrace my thoughts in words, like scratching on a wall. Sometimes the young nurses will co congregate in my room. I like that. They speak Filipino, one of those languages, a language that pops and clicks percussive. I don't understand a word. Understand. But pick up a lot of the general gesture of the conversation. That's good company. The male nurse is my night nurse. It's been difficult, but interesting. He wakes me up in the middle of the night to take me to the bathroom. Getting me out of bed takes strength from both of us. I find him attractive. He seems resentful, at times even angry. At first, I wasn't wearing pajama bottoms, just the pull-ups, a kind of bulky diapers. Two seconds of pulling down on pajama bottoms can make the difference of sitting down on time or not. I've been sloppy about my prayer practice, my good night to awakeness, my thanks to my angels, my avoiding my primate language logic, to pray without knowing it, without knowing it at night before going to bed. 
but I've lost the thread, the rhythm of this notebook. Barnett suggests I should write more, make the poem longer. He calls it a poem. This writing that I intend to use part of for my cut-up writing, for Skipping Stone. Reading with the New York Times paper so that thread was not made out of subject thread, but of space between. Will there really be coincidences of pathways, detours of interest, down a pipe? A process of randomization can bring nonsense. Improvised is hard, surface tension brings meaning. He takes the rock in hand and slams it down. It stands, puts toothpaste on her brush, lest her shaking fling the stuff across the sink. 